So part of my job at the French Culinary Institute is coming up with new and innovative foods that use technology. Uh, and we came up in this case with the edible cocktail uh, where we are making this cucumber into a full strength gin martini. So basically we're, we're trying to cut the cucumber into nice flat slices that you could pick up off the plate. And we're gonna use today Tanqueray. A lot of times nowadays, people they just would kind of wave the vermouth over the top of the uh, over the top of the gin. I think it's a mistake. You might as well just drink gin at that point. We're also going to add a little simple syrup. Normally, you would stick the cucumbers in here, then put a grate on top of it to hold it down. But since we want you to be able to see what's going on, we're going to cheat a little bit today, and I'm going to stick a paper clip into the actual cucumber just to weight it down. And the reason it needs to be weighted down is that the cucumber will not, the cucumber has to be under the liquid. If the cucumber is not under the liquid, the vacuum won't be able to inject the flavor into it. This is a vacuum machine. It's normally used to seal things in a vacuum for either cooking or for preservation. The principle of rapid infusion or making these edible cocktails is that when we suck all of the air out of a product like a cucumber, as soon as the air comes back in, the air forces the, forces the gin into what used to be the air cells and A, fills it with gin and B, gives it a very beautiful translucent stained glass look. You're going to start seeing the, the alcohol boiling. Uh, and at the same time, you're going to see the air getting sucked out of the cucumber. Now, I'm going to turn the machine off. When the air comes back in, you're going to see the cucumber change from being opaque to being translucent. Now you can see the paper clip through the cucumber. Just take it out and... Voila. I mean, you can really see the paper clip through it. I mean, it's really turned completely translucent. And what's interesting also is, unlike a normal pickle, this is still super crunchy. This is as crunchy as it was when we put it in. Probably a little more crunchy than it was when we put it in. And yet, it tastes, it tastes just like a martini. We're going to add some lime zest, not too much, a little bit, just to add that little citrus note without being overpowering. A tiny, tiny bit of celery seed, not salt. Too much and it'll turn bitter. Just a little bit gives a nice, nice hint. And then finally, and most importantly, a little bit of Malden sea salt, which just has a really nice texture, adds a nice crunch. You know, I don't know of anyone that's serving this at a restaurant right now, but many chefs are playing with the idea of texture modification and flash pickling uh, using, uh, using the vacuum machine. And as more and more chefs have a vacuum machine, I think this is definitely going to be something you're going to see more of in the future.